the competitiveness of dermatology because it is either the most competitive or second most competitive field in medicine, rotating obviously with plastic surgery from year to year. So you do have to be a competitive ap applicant as as we just talked about. In terms of having a bunch of research papers under your belt before you apply, right? So getting that head start definitely helps you with the preparation, but in what instances would you say that you really honed in? Like, was it your research? Was it the clinical hours dedicated strictly to dermatology? Well, I think first it begins with your passion. So I think you find out what you're interested in. I think I always give medical students the advice of keeping an open mind, even if you have an inkling, you might be interested in a certain specialty. At the end of the day, you're going to be a holistic physician. So you really want to give it your all in every rotation. When we're looking at applicants for dermatology, we want, we actually look at these rotations, your clinical rotations, your third and fourth year. We want to see that you're doing well in those as well. You know, we don't want to see right. um, sort of this isolated interest in dermatology it doesn't feel very genuine. You know, we want to see that you are well-rounded, that you understand everything. And I say this is very important because dermatology as a field overlaps with so many other specialties, you know, from pediatrics to geriatrics. So we see the whole gamut of patients, you know, from all, all walks of life, all ages, we see oncology patients who are undergoing chemotherapeutic agents. And we have to understand drug rashes. We see, we have to learn about all the most rare infectious diseases. So there's so much to know. And I think that's why it's such a re rewarding and very intellectually stimulating field. But I think that, you know, I think definitely you want to keep a open mind when you go into medical school. If you find that you're interested early, a good way to get involved is to start reaching out to your department. If you don't have a department at your medical school, um, there are other options. It can be a little harder because now you have to seek out another department or another, maybe an academic practice that is involved with research because I think clinical research or any type of research in medicine is really the foundation of all of how we progress our field. So, you know, getting those, getting those skill sets doesn't need to be in dermatology specifically. You know, I think we are looking for sort of any experience in research and just showing your passion. You know, we understand that your, your road to dermatology may not be traditional. You may not have that early interest and that's okay. But we want to see that you're interested in learning. If you enjoyed this short segment, please like the video and comment any feedback. Also, feel free to check out the full podcast episode where we try to ask the right questions to deconstruct study strategies, useful habits, constructive failures, and life lessons. The podcast can be streamed on all platforms. 